Hello and welcome to another episode. Today, uh, first thing you'll notice, uh, we're over on the YouTube channel, is uh, the channel's been renamed to just Healthy Crypto instead of Healthy Crypto Raiders. And the reason for this is uh, just because we're in something of a bear market and uh, there isn't a whole lot to talk about uh, on Crypto Raiders front. And that's just because devs are correctly uh, just going heads down and building, as you should in a bear market. Uh, but unfortunately, that means there's not a whole lot of new stuff to cover. Uh, we're just kind of in a holding pattern, waiting. Uh, Unity should be within the next month or so. We'll see how it all goes. They say hopefully they'll get uh, community testing started in the next week or so. Uh, so if that happens, uh, we'll have some stuff to talk about there. I know some people wanted a in-depth video on the companion app, and I do plan to do that as well. So you can expect that coming out uh, fairly soon, within the week. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to be covering just Crypto Raiders anymore, though. I'm going to, I've started to expand a little bit and buy some other uh, projects and play some other games. And as a result, I'm going to be covering those as well on the channel. So it seemed right to uh, rename the channel just slightly. So, that's all there. Uh, the first thing we will be playing is uh, Gods Unchained. And uh, this is, uh, you can use Token Trove as the way to go for uh, um, buying cards uh, in Gods Unchained. It's better than their actual marketplace, so definitely use that. Um, I made an account for Gods Unchained about 48 hours ago, right about two days ago, uh, to get started. And I've been learning the game uh, so I've got some things I'll recommend to you guys uh, who want to get started. I also bought, um, I'm in Monster Champions as well, so we'll be talking, we'll have a video on that as well eventually. Uh, but for God's Own Chained, yeah, this is just a nice little marketplace uh, if you need a card. A lot of them are very cheap. You can see this one's a penny. And you'll just uh, click on it. You can hit buy amount and it'll pop up your transaction on the side once you have your wallet connected and you need to bridge Ethereum on the Ethereum network over to Immutable X, which is their side chain. Uh, so you will have to bridge that over in order to uh, purchase on their marketplace. So I recommend that. Uh, you probably want to buy just a few, and you don't need a whole lot, but I'd probably buy just a few gods tokens. I plan to do that as well, uh, just because it's used in their fusing. You also get that for free for completing in the weekend ranked events. Uh, as for starting, this is the deck that I started with. Uh, I didn't actually make it. I just copied it, but I clicked from my profile, so it's saying by me, but uh, it is most definitely not. Uh, if you need to find this deck in particular, if you want to copy it and get to this page, uh, you'll just go to meta here on uh, gudex.com and go to player stats, and you can just type in LV and find my decks. And this is the one I would recommend. It's about 0.13 ETH is the cost. Uh, there are some cheaper versions. If you go to Meta and just go to Regen Nature, there is, yes, yeah, see, 0.045. So a much cheaper version of the deck. If you want to go with that, this is also very solid. Uh, it's very, very few differences between this and my deck. And uh, they're pretty much equally as good. So you can use either one. Um, there's not a huge advantage. Mine is just slightly better against uh, the a uh, slightly more aggressive and slightly better against like Agro Mage, which is in the metal right now. So that's why I'm using that. Um, but yeah, this deck is fairly cheap. This is a great place to start out. Uh, like I said, I just started two days ago, so don't take my word for anything on the meta. I don't know what I'm talking about yet. I'm still learning. Uh, there's some great content creators out there on YouTube though for this game, so go check them out. But I will leave a link in the description for both of these sites uh, because they're extremely helpful uh, third-party tools for the game. And uh, Regen Nature is what we'll be playing uh, today in a practice tool to test it out. Um, but yeah, I, I, like I said, I made this account two days ago. I already got to the Mythic rank for the weekend event. Uh, so it's not too hard to climb in this game if you've ever played a TCG before and you just buy one of these... Uh, one of these decks uh, that are in the meta, you'll pretty easily climb in a day or two all the way to Mythic. It's a fairly easy uh, grind. It's not too bad. I think it took me like, I don't know, like 80 games or so to hit Mythic. So it's really not that bad, and you get a lot better rewards in Mythic for the weekend event. I have not done my weekend duels yet, 
Um, but you have a weekend to complete them. Only have to do 25 matches on the weekend, and then you get God's tokens, and you get and you get packs as well, which you can open to get more cards. So we'll get in uh, just to show you what it's like. If you've ever played Hearthstone, you've basically played this game already. There's a little bug there. If you just hit Start Queue again, it'll go away. But yeah, if you've ever played Hearthstone, you've basically played this game already. Um, but it's uh, fairly fun, so I figured I'd show you guys what it's about. If you want to get more into depth on it, there are a lot of uh, great, like I said, there's a lot of great content on YouTube already. I've been binge watching a lot of that and watching some of their streamers that play this game because, uh, yeah, this is a fairly fun game. It's basically just Hearthstone on the blockchain. That's, that's basically all it is. Normally it's a lot faster to find a uh, practice game. I don't know why it's taking uh, 37, 38 seconds here. I really don't want to play a regen nature game in the weekend ranked though. So going to try and find a practice game. Uh, you can also buy packs um, for uh, Ethereum or for gods or for a couple of other tokens that they have. Uh, they're supported. There we go. Looks like we found a game. So we'll go ahead and show you what uh, what it's like, what this deck is like. It's extremely straightforward, and that's why I recommend. And huge shout out to Degis for teaching me the basics on this and helping me out. I've been annoying him quite a bit. Um, but with this deck, you're always going to pick Animal Bond, uh, which lets you summon a 1-2 Badger with Confused. And Confused is just, it attacks a random enemy half the time instead of the one you selected. Uh, as for the mulligan, you just want to get a nice mana curve, 1, 2, 3, ideally. Yeah, 1, 1, 2, that's pretty decent. I sometimes will mulligan this, um, just because I don't really care for uh, that card early on. Good luck. But, looks like we are going second. And uh, that means we'll have three extra mana that we can use throughout the course. Um, let's see... After it attacks and survive, it gains one health. Alright, that is a bit of a troublesome one. So we will start out with... We'll spend one of our extra mana, and we'll go Wild Bog and Pyre Shell Beetle. And the whole idea of this deck is to get a bunch of wild creatures, and then buff them up like crazy. It's a very aggressive deck. And I'm sure, you know, since this is just uh, for the video, I'm sure I'm going to get absolutely stomped in this and uh, it'll look horrible, but that's the way it goes when you record in one take. We're not going to be uh, resetting to get a better, better look. Alright, so first things first, let's see if that attacks. No, and it went into face, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, let's see. I don't really want that to get free hits on this either. So I'm going to do this. Into this. And get our 1-1. One, one. And then I will mana up into War's Wake to get our two one fours with regen. So we've got a pretty good board going now. If we can just draw into like Wildfire next turn, that would be very good. Also, Dagon would be very good. That is a uh, legendary monster that uh, every time one of your units heals, they gain plus one plus one. But as you can see, this is very very similar to Hearthstone. And we drew into Dagon, which is uh, fairly nice. So these two are both going to gain plus one, plus one when they heal. Unfortunately, there's nothing for us to attack with him, so he's not going to get the healing or the buff. But these two get quite the buff. And now he kind of has to deal with Dagon here. Otherwise, uh, Dagon's going to get out of hand. Yeah, he has a second one of those, luckily for him. And that lets him clear off the Dagon. Which is uh, kind of imperative when you're against uh, regen. You really want to get rid of that Dagon as quickly as possible when it hits the board. We did draw into a Trial of the Hydra. Uh, I think 
Hmm, do we want to use that? I think we want to wait a turn and just build out our board a little bit. This might be a mistake. Like I said, I just just downloaded the game a couple of days ago, so... Oh, I should have also spent... Uh, you also get favor. Every time you do something, uh, attack something uh, with, your cre or with your god or use one of your cards, you get favor. And favor can be spent on these cards, which are shared between both players. So if there's something you really want, you want to grab it before the opponent has a chance to grab it. And then they're replaced. So we do have our uh, Trial of the Hydra here we can use. I do want this uh, draw a card, so we are going to take that. And we are going to Trial of the Hydra here to give them plus one regen. And then some buffs. I can't do that. Oops. And then all of these can go in and hit, and he just surrenders. Because, yeah, once you try all the Hydra, there's no real way for him to clear that unless he specifically had a weapon, and the uh, he has a board clear card that destroys your weapon and uh, and clears the entire board. But yeah, that's uh, what the game looks like. It's basically just Hearthstone. Uh, so if you've ever played Hearthstone, you've basically played Gods Unchained. The, uh, what the cards are called is slightly different, but, uh, or what the things are, like Confused, Regen, these should all be fairly, uh, similar to, uh, concepts you've seen in, in Hearthstone, if you've ever played it. But yeah, the whole idea of this is, uh, yeah, Roar is just Battle Cry from Hearthstone. That's all it is. Um, Wildfire, huge for this deck. It deals one damage to every creature on the enemy side. Gives you plus one, one, and plus one regen to every friendly wild creature. So the idea is to get a bunch of these wild, cheap creatures on the board, and then use Wildfires and Trial of the Hydra, which gives... Uh, plus one regen, and then plus X plus X, where X is equal to their regen amount. And then it has a few little options for dealing with enemy boards here as well. And usually, like, the Jaguar Staff, which has Blitz, so you can clear your... You can attack enemy uh, monsters right away, which is like Charge in Hearthstone. Uh, this is a weapon... You equip it, and uh, after you attack, you get a Black Jaguar, which is also a wild creature. I actually don't think I have any. No, I don't actually have any of them in this deck, but Wild Jaguar is just a uh, another 2-mana confused 2-3. Two, yeah, Black Jaguar right here, 3-3 three, three, uh, with regen 1. So you get those, and uh, it's rather nice. And yeah, that's uh, the basics of the deck and the basics of Gods Unchained. As you get cards and open packs, you can eventually forge them, and you'll need uh, multiple copies. You'll need some Flux, which you get for playing the game, and some Gods tokens, which you can either buy or you get from competing in Weekend Ranked. And of course, the uh, you have the Star Store. I've been told that it's not really ever worth it to buy any of these. You could just save them because eventually the Star Tokens will be used for something else. Like some kind of an arena mode or something like that. Or drafts or something. I have no idea what the plan is there. But I've just been told to save them so that's what I'm doing. But if you go over to buy packs, you can see uh, their pricing for packs in Ethereum. It's .001 uh, for a rare pack normal all the way up to buying shiny packs which uh will run you quite a bit more expensive so yeah that's uh the basics of uh, gods unchained we also did an episode of the plan earn podcast with aegis where he talked a lot about gods unchained and went a lot more in depth uh you can find that over on the plan earn channel which is a podcast i do with merrick moon and uh yeah thanks for watching i hope you guys uh found this interesting and uh maybe if you're bored and like tcgs give god's own chain a shot i've been having some fun with it and grinding it up but uh yeah hopefully you guys like that i'm going to expand out the channel a little bit more 
and cover some more projects other than Crypto Raiders while we are in this uh, bear market. Most of the videos will still be on Crypto Raiders, but occasionally we'll have videos on things like God's Own Chain or Monster Champions or any other project that I happen to get into. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.